welcome back. Today we are going to be learning the PLL algorithm for EPERM. First, let's work on identifying EPERM. EPERM is pretty easy to spot because it is the only PLL case where there are no two of the same color next to each other. So all around, there should be no two of the same color next to each other. You might get this confused with FPERM. It looks a lot like it, but there is one block on the back. So before you identify something as EPERM, make sure you quickly check all four sides. EPERM is a 16-move algorithm, but I will show you how to quickly and easily memorize it. All right, first, let's notice that we can't hold the cube anywhere. Even though it looks like all of it is jumbled up, you really need to notice some things. So you see here we have orange and blue, here we have orange and green. So these two corners need to switch, orange, green, orange, blue. But if we were to look at these two, if we just switched to these two pieces, we would essentially be creating an H perm around the cube, which just adds time. So this is what you're going to do. So let's say I just executed OLL. Now I'm looking around. So see if you can spot two colors that are the same on any two corners. Now you're going to hold those either on the right or the left. Okay, it doesn't matter either because there are really two sets. See, we have orange, orange red, red. All right, then you're going to do a cube turn to turn yellow towards you. All right, here's E perm. R, U prime, R prime, D, R, U, R prime, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, R, U prime, R prime, D prime. So let's analyze that algorithm. So every other move was a right hand move. So we went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's really easy to remember. So you've already gotten eight out of the 16 moves. Okay, now first we moved the top layer this way, then this way. Then after that, we moved it this way, then this way. The bottom layer went to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. So that's even easier to remember because it's the same two moves over and over again. I'll do it a little bit faster and notice how the top layer moves and how the bottom layer moves. I think you've got the hang of it. So top layer moves this way, bottom layer moves this way. Undo those moves. Now the top layer moves in the opposite direction but the bottom move bottom layer moves the same way, then undo those moves. All right, practice that, and there's EPERM. While we're on the topic of EPERM, I'm just going to show you two very similar algorithms that you might not have known. So, you might recognize these OLL cases. You see here we have blinkers, here we have piece here, piece here. Now you can actually use EPERM to solve these. You might have realized halfway through EPERM that you had this case and the whole rest of it was solved. I noticed that as well and I developed both of these algorithms. So if you recall the first eight moves of EPERM, if you get this OLL case, put the dot here, dot here, I'll do the first half of EPERM, then it solves the OLL. Okay, so I'll do that again. So I have dot here, dot here, do the first half of EPERM and it gets it. Now there is a cube turn involved, which is the only reason why it's definitely not faster, but it could be faster if you can execute it fast enough. All right, here we just use the second half of EPERM, okay? So we'll start by using that U move Then we can solve it. I'll show you that again. So second half of EPERM. If you plan on learning more PLL algorithms, please check out my page. I have a video on each of them. I hope this video helped you, and good luck.